India Today's consulting editor, Rajdeep Sardesai, is also now joining me. Rajdeep, Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh are going to be big elections for all parties, in fact. Uh, but why do you think, crucially, it will be these two states that all eyes will be on? You know, uh, uh, Pooja, every election now in the lead-up to 2024 matters. And these elections matter specifically because, remember, in both these states, in a way, the battleground is BJP versus Congress. Uh, we've seen the Congress uh, significantly weakening across the country in recent times. So therefore, particularly states like Himachal with their tradition of anti-incumbency and uh, electing governments for five years and then changing them, offer the Congress an opportunity. Also for uh, the Congress, because of the Bharat Jodo Yatra that Rahul Gandhi has launched, the Congress is hoping that they can, some of that momentum can go into these states. On the other hand, for the BJP, Gujarat is their ultimate fortress. This is the Karma Bhumi and the Janma Bhumi yes. of the two most powerful people in the government, Narendra Modi ji and Amit Shah. And therefore, the census for the BJP, Gujarat is not just another election. It's a prestige battle. One, they want to not just win, but win big this time. Remember, Puja, in 2017, the BJP scraped through in Gujarat yes. for the first time was in double digits. This time, they are talking of breaking a record of 1985 when the Congress won 149 out of 182. They are hoping to win 150. So for the BJP, Gujarat is particularly important because it's the Prime Minister's state and Himachal is important because they would like to show that there is no anti-incumbency against BJP government and that will give them a huge momentum going into the crucial 2023-2024 election period. Rajdeep, what are you looking at uh, about the Ahmadmi party after Punjab trying to make inroads into Gujarat and this where the BJP is still in a stronghold? But this is also with regard to Gopal Italia's controversies emerging of his old videos. So it's going to be a tough call, but nevertheless they are giving a fight to both the BJP and the Congress in Gujarat. You know, uh, uh, Puja, you make a very good point by raising the Amarmi party because Gujarat has been traditionally a bipolar state of Congress versus BJP, BJP versus Congress. But this time, because the Amarmi party has got into a very high-profile campaign in Gujarat against the backdrop of their big victory in Punjab, the stakes are high for them as well. While, uh, you know, it is unlikely that they can win uh, uh, in Gujarat, certainly if they can increase their vote share, get into double-digit vote share, they can only once again re-establish their presence in a way that they are not just a party of Delhi anymore, but they are spreading their wings across the country. Himachal was a state where they uh, earlier seemed to have uh, uh, some kind of hope because it's bordering Punjab. Yes. But off late, they have focused more on Gujarat and less on Himachal. So you're right. For the Amadmi party too, they, mm. uh, this election becomes important because of the amount of, uh, uh, of investment Arvind Kejriwal is making in Gujarat at the moment. Rajiv, one final question. Out of these three parties, BJP, Congress, Amadmi party, which party do you think has the maximum stakes right now? W whatever be the reason, but which party do you think will have to, want to, must fight the hardest? And what does it signify that for 2024 and ahead? You know, Puja, it is, as of today, advantage BJP in both states. So uh, I would think that the biggest stakes are for the Congress party because, you know, if, if with all the effort that Rahul Gandhi is putting into this Bharat Jodo Yatra, Congress presidential election, if once again you draw a blank, 